In this particular session, we will start with our ADB that was Android Debug Bridge, which act as a bridge between user and your Android device. So you can just pass your commands directly to your Android device, or you can control your Android device with the help of your terminal or the CMD that you are using. So I'm using my Kali Linux on my left hand side, and I'm using my Android emulator on my right hand side here, which runs on Android version 10 that we have configured previously. So let's get started with the CMD. Before starting with this ADB part, let's go with the major components of your ADB. There are three major components. The first one was your ADB client. The CMD or the terminal I'm using here is the ADB client. The terminal here will be known as your ADB client. The second major component was your ADB server. My Kali Linux machine here will simply act as a server so we can just write our command in the terminal and that command will be sent to this android emulator right for this case kali will act as a adb server so your terminal will be act as a adb client will be known as adb client and your kali linux or your main operating system here you are using known as your adb server so here my kali linux is my adb server then we got the third major part and that was your ADB daemon. ADB daemon is the background process that was initialized by your init process. So these are the three major components of your ADB. The client, you can say your terminal, the ADB server, or you can say your OS part, and the daemon, which is again the background process on your Android device. Now, after this, let's get started with the ADB, like how you can interact with your Android device with the help of ADB. For that, first you have to install ADB in your Kali Linux because it doesn't come with Kali. So you have to go with this installation. For that part, just go with simple sudo if you are not the root user. And if you are the root user, just remove the sudo and go with apt, install and go with a, d and b. And I hit enter. Right? And this will simply install ADB in your machine. I already have installed in my Kali Linux here. So again, it will simply check for the updates and give me the results. Right? After installation, just simply go with ADB devices. If you simply hit enter with the ADB, you will get a list of all the commands that you can use with ADB part, right? I'm gonna use few basic commands so you can get a better idea about the ADB. So I'll go with simple ADB devices to get a list of all the devices. And with the hyphen L, you will get a better information. Let's execute both the command with L or without L, right? If I simply hit enter, this will give me a list of all the devices. But right now, we don't have any devices connected here. So first we have to connect our device. To establish a connection, go with simple ADB, connect, and then you can enter your IP address. For this Android emulator, you can figure out this IP address from the top of this emulator here. It's written here at 192.168.39.105. And don't forget to enter the port number. Your ADB daemon always use this port number 5555, which you have to enter here. Right, to establish the connection you can also use your wired connection but for the wired part and for this wireless as well you first have to enable the developer modes and under this developer mode then you have to enable the usb debugging if you're using the physical device then go to your bout phone settings go to your build number and tap here seven times this will give me your already developer i know that part but for your physical device you need to tap on build number seven times and then you will get your developer option under systems or your developer options. Just go with developer options, scroll here and you will get your USB debugging options which you have to enable, right? Which is by default enable in the Jenny motion emulator you can say. After enabling this developer options then you can establish a connection with your Android device. So your device is connected perfectly. Now let's go with ADB devices and hit enter. We got the basic IP address or the device name you can say and the basic device. But let's say we want the basic information right about the device. For that part, I'll go with hyphen L, right? This will give me the basic information, product, virtual box I'm using, model, it's Samsung Galaxy S10 and again the same things were there, right? So you can get a basic information from this hyphen L part. If you want the complete CLI access for this device, you can simply go with ADB shell 
and hit enter right you can like execute all of your basic linux commands here like if you go with ls if you go with dir dir will not work you simply go with pwd these basic commands will work here or if you simply check who am i here for the jenny motion specifically you will get the root user here because all of the devices in jenny motion were rooted by default but if you are using android studio there we got both the image files your rooted files and your non rooted files as well so you can pick either you want the rooted device or you want a non rooted device you can switch between them but for jenny motion you always get a rooted device always so have a good day and stay connected